Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Stravens. Uh, now, you must have noticed a little, uh, you know, a little intro uh, clip there with the sniper. Now, I don't usually snipe, but, uh, you know, now with the new hotfix 43.7.27.5, well, at least that's what they're calling it. Uh, it's become so easy to snipe that even someone like me who maybe has like probably three or four sniper gameplays, can easily snipe now so the weapon which i was using in that little clip in the intro was the locust and uh, i coupled that with the ballistic cpu and man is it dead easy to snipe now uh, on this game i mean that thing barely moves when you uh, aim down sight the scope just barely moves i know they did the same thing on some lmgs and assault rifles uh, I don't know why they did it. Maybe in preparation of uh, people coming in from, uh, you know, during Christmas because a lot of games will be bought during the Christmas period and I know there's going to be a bunch of new people coming in. And, uh, you know, just in related to my previous commentary, you know what they're trying to do. They're trying to just make sure that people who come in and start playing the game, they don't drop off as rapidly uh, as they have in the in the past. And, you know, it's all about making people stay in the game and making more money. It's all about those uh, dineros, man. All about those dollars, right? So, anyway, uh, you know, ad in addition to uh, some weapon buffs on the hotfix, apparently Re Rejack got buffed too. I mean, I, I, guess, I, I guess you can call it a buff. I mean, it seems like you can stand up pretty quickly now in Rejack, whatever that means. I mean, it's super easy still to get those exorcism medals uh, you know which is you know if killing someone as they're using rejack or trying to initiate it uh, so i still think it's you know a pretty much a wasted ability i i don't know why they nerfed it i know there are people who complained uh, you know about it and maybe uh, you know maybe it was overpowered maybe it wasn't i didn't think it was too bad to be honest uh, but pretty much i think it's just wasted unless you use it in s and d and uh, stuff like that but uh, pretty much I don't use it anymore I used to use it uh, but I, I think it's pretty useless at this point uh, also some of the other uh, things which got buffed it seems like the, some of the shotguns got buffed in terms of range now that to me seems pretty strange because some of the shotguns especially the Argus I mean man that weapon was just crazy it had insane range on it but uh, you know they buffed that uh, apparently increasing its range um, I mean it sounds crazy on the surface to me but hey man it is what it is you know it gives people who are newer to the game again a platform to get some easy kills and it is what it is you know it's a business so you gotta make the game as comfortable as you possibly can uh, for the new people coming in <coughs> now the weapon which I'm using in this gameplay that you see is uh, the man of war uh, now the weapon itself is is all right but coupled with rapid fire man this weapon it can do some serious damage honestly you don't even need a grip on this weapon i i do run uh quick draw and stalk uh, with the reflex sight but uh, man is this weapon pretty awesome at pretty much all ranges uh, when you add uh, the uh, rapid fire attachment to it now, uh, one thing that I wanted to talk about in this gameplay is the use of the hive. Now, I've seen other people use the hive, but I don't think people honestly use it as effectively as uh, they can. Uh, because what people usually do when they get the hive is they like rapidly start pumping out these little, uh, you know, hive modules and they put it in the exact same place. I don't see people spreading them across all lanes which is exactly what you want to do if you want the hive to work in your favor to get all those rapid uh you know score tricks um if you ask me what i would do is i would put all the hives in the same i wouldn't put all the hives in the same place i would put them by in places where they strategically cut off all the lanes to people leading into you and that way you know not all of them get activated at the same time because you only get five of them and you make all five of them count 
So that way it's easier for you to get not only swarm medals, but you get also raise medals, which is honestly pretty tough, which is getting like three people with a hive and more. But I, I think I've got like 10 or 15 raise medals already, which is pretty incredible because that's like almost 400 points. So right there. So that, as you can imagine, will help you get to your score streaks really fast. And uh, honestly, that's what I recommend. Cutting off all lanes, spreading them across, and not putting them in the same area. Trust me, guys. Try it out, and you will thank me. Because that is really the most classic way you can use a hive and you'll get your most bang for your buck doing it that way. Anyway, uh, this gameplay now is going to be coming to a close. I uh, pretty much uh, had a couple of uh, kills there by this guy, which is a pretty high prestige. Uh, he killed me a couple of times. I think he got me all three times I died in this game. Uh, but he, uh, you know, kudos to him. He used those head glitch spots uh, pretty effectively. And, uh, you know, you, you can't fault people. I mean, this is how Treyarch plays this game. You know, you go from cover to cover. You have all these head glitching slots which people uh, like to exploit and use to their advantage, you know. you know. So, uh, you know, hats off to him, you know, and all the power, man. Use those head glitching slots as much as you can. Anyway, you know, hope you guys got a few tips from this, especially about the hive. And, you know, hope that helped you guys uh, improve and maybe get, a, you know, some of those higher score streaks a lot better. Anyway, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. And happy holidays, man. See you in another video, guys. Take it easy. Ciao.